Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more of The Witcher Free Blood and Wine DLC, and we are in a land of fantasy and illusion. Even more so than when playing a fantasy role-playing game. Uh, we are inside a magic book full of illusion, and we are following a literal yellow brick road. Although it's not really brick, it's more like yellow-veined road. But I guess that doesn't have the same kind of ring to it. Bloody hell! Let him out! Voices. He gobbled up my gingerbread! Now it's my turn to gobble him! <laughs> what? Okay. What's going on here then? Oh, well, there's Sienna. Hands off my hearth, dearie. You wouldn't want me to get cross. Then you open it. Now, who's this? A lost traveler? You're not supposed to be here, sweetie. Why, you're old. Old and pale. But never worry. A bit of butter, a bit of spice. And you'll make a tasty morsel. How about no? Just as soon as I catch you. Oh god. Okay. Yeah, it's this real wicked witch. Uh, who's flying on a broom? You cannot possibly fear a few magical plants. Well, no, it's not so much fear, just they really annoy me. Ow. Okay, you're going to be casting a bunch of these, aren't you? I can tell. It's going to be that kind of day. Whoa! Ow! Ow! Okay. Smells more vile than a rotting carcass. Careful she doesn't douse you. But thanks for telling me that after the fact, lady. Okay. Don't think we've ever fought someone flying on a broom before. This is new. Oh, hang on. Shit, no, that's... I can't put a crossbow bolt through that shield. Yeah, I can't actually hurt her. Oh, but she... I see. Okay, she comes... The shield lowers when she comes in to do that attack, so... Ah, shit. Reloading. Damn it. There we go. Off that broom, lovely. Okay, now I'm actually fighting a broom. Ow. Okay. That wasn't what I expected. Oh, Jesus. This le old lady is pretty fucking fierce. Yeah, okay, I got that. Ah, shit, stunned. No, move, 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 move. Why am I stunned? <clears throat> okay. Ah, damn it, now she's back on the broom. And now she's casting another archer spool. Oh, no, panther. Okay, fine. When in doubt, set everything on fire. Okay, you're down. Wish flying lady. There we go. Got to time it just right. When she starts the whole laughing thing. Okay, to be honest, the broom regenerates. I don't really want to fuck with the broom. Is the broom still out? Okay, the broom is still active. No. Okay, now the broom's dead. Oh God, it's all happening too fast. What? What the hell was that? The wicked witch. Oh, you've heard of her, haven't you? Now, where did you put that key? Listen, I... How'd you come by a weapon? It's Prince Charming's. He no longer needs it. Here it is. What happened to Prince Charming? Oh, wait. Uh... <coughs> Thank you. She'd have begged me for certain if you'd not... Sienna? Is that you? It's been years, Jack. H have you come to play? No, I just want your beans so you can breathe easy. Hmm. Uh, what beans? Beans? What beans? <clears throat> Try not to interrupt. Well, Jack, where are they? Sienna, I, I, I'm sorry, but, but I haven't got them. Oh. Something tells me you're lying. Perhaps 
Perhaps you wish to play the old games after all. Hmm? This little picky went to market. This little picky went home. For instance. I'm telling the truth. I swear it. Anarietta, she ordered them buried all over so you wouldn't be able to leave. Where? I... I don't know. But, but Joss, the boy with the thing for wolves, he should know. He sticks his nose in everyone's affairs. He had better know. Because if not, I'll find you and we'll have ourselves a little talk. Understand? Now shoo! Ah, all right. So why is it you're here? <laughs> I came to look for my lost childhood. I mean, as a witcher, he didn't really get a childhood, but um, yeah, that's not actually why we're here. Came to free you. Nice of you, but a waste of your effort. I plan to free myself. You might, you might not. Bound to be easier with my help, as our most recent adventure amply showed. Mm-hmm. Yet I still don't know why you even give a damn. It's Deadlaf. He's trying to force Anna Henrietta's hand. Wants her to release you. Summoned monsters to attack Beauclair. Sounds like Deadlaf, all right. But I doubt you came all this way just to bring me up to speed on current events. So get to the point, please. Isn't it obvious? Offering to be your ally. We both want you out of here. You because you want your freedom back. Me because as soon as you meet with Deadlaf, he'll put an end to the chaos in the city. You exposed me. I landed in prison because of you. Now you come to beg my help, I dare say. My life is full of surprises, isn't it? But normally I'd tell you to sod off. But, from what you say, folk are dying who have nothing to do with this. Not part of the plan. Deadlaf was only to kill those who deserved it. No one else. Fine, Witcher. I accept your offer. Consider us allies. Shake on it. Interesting. I don't entirely trust her. Hmm. Ah, this is ah. We got some good questions here. Those death left killed. Why did it? Yeah. Why did she pick those four four people? Five people? How many she killed? Four people. I think we stopped her before she killed the fifth. Why did she want to kill those specific people? What did they do? Since you brought it up, the knights death left killed. What exactly did they do to you? Crespi, Duak. A quoi? Peyrec Peyron? Not a memory I enjoy revisiting, but I suppose you deserve to know. When my parents disowned me, they ordered those very knights to escort me beyond the duchy's borders. All did so without uttering a single word in my defense. Like you said, they had their orders. Mm -hmm. But Crespi was not ordered to beat me unconscious with a horsewhip after my first attempt at escape. And you like had no instructions to deny me food and abuse me. I learned something then. Knights are not so chivalrous when no one's watching. Okay. I mean, that does kind of explain a lot. They, you know, abused a child that was being exiled by her own parents. But does that excuse murder? I don't know, I feel like there's a grey line there that I'm not willing to make a decision on. I mean, that does explain a lot. I'm not saying that excuses it, but it does explain a lot. That explains a lot. Shocked, aren't you? You must have thought you had me pegged. Before bothering to hear my side. Everyone does that. I mean, actually, apart from your sister, your sister has so far been taking your side, despite the fact you've got a whole bunch of people killed. Curse of the Black Sun. That's why you were banished, right? Mm-hmm. Twisted princesses, mutants... I'm certain you've heard of us. Even met one of you, Renfrey of Craden. And? Was she truly monstrous? She was cruel, that's certain. But what caused it? The curse or what she went through? Asking myself to this day. You killed her, didn't you? Had no choice. Funny, Mum said the same when she tossed me out of the house. This place... Tell me something more. It's an illusion, right? Yes. Created by Arturius Vigo. Anna, Henrietta, and I would come here to play out scenes from our favorite fables. 
Which didn't seem like she was playing. Magical entropy. Without maintenance, the spell gradually disintegrates over time. It grows wild. Your sister chose a dangerous place for your prison. It's deceptive. Provided I don't provoke them, the fairy tale characters don't attack me. But you, you don't belong here. So you had best be on your watch. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. I was wondering why Anna would have put Siana in a place that was dangerous, but if they're not actually going to attack her on sight, then she's not in as much danger. So, what's with the beams? Mind explaining? Hmm, certainly. But you must gird yourself with patience. There are two ways out of this land. My darling sister blocked one when she tossed me in here. The other's up there, in the clouds. She made it hard, but not impossible to access by concealing the beams. Still don't understand. Don't fret, just listen. That boy, that was Jack, of beanstalk fame. You know the tale? Jack. Climbed a gigantic beanstalk to a giant's castle, high up in the clouds. As we shall do if we can just find those blasted beams. There are three. One red, one blue, one yellow. Hmm. Uh, stock won't sprout from just one? No, because it must transpire exactly as it did in the tale. Clear now? So we must find Joss. Perhaps he will be able to help us. You lead. Okay, so we've got to follow like a pre-programmed set of instructions. We've got to follow a particular pathway to trigger the beanstalk to get us out of here. found wandering the glade at the foot of the mount. It's some distance from here. Past the witch's house to the right. Yep, that was like the crazy gingerbread witch lady. Lovely. Uh, okay, let's actually have a look around here. Is there anything else? We might need more healing because I'm running out of raw meat, I'll be honest. Um, ooh. Wasn't this on fire? Oh, okay. I thought that was. Oh, no, it's that one that's on fire. Okay, that's just an empty one, which I can't actually enter. Fair enough. What about over here? Anything inside? I can extinguish the flames. There we go. I'm assuming the witch is... Oh, I don't know. I mean, I assume the witch actually comes back. Ooh, gingerbread man. Okay, actually, I actually want to just check. Is the gingerbread man actually, like, good for anything? In terms of food and drink? Do, do, do. Gingerbread man. Where are you? Where be the gingerbread man? Okay, there's the actual gingerbread. Five seconds. Uh, poisoned apple. Hmm. Oh, gives me toxicity. Okay, probably don't want to take that. I can't see the gingerbread man. Ah, oh, tell me the gingerbread I can't. I can actually eat the gingerbread man, because otherwise that sucks. No, the gingerbread man is not edible. Gingerbread man is junk, how dare you? Gingerbread man is not junk. Oh, hello, what's that? A cage of some description. Like, why are you glowing if I can't do anything with you? Oh, I can loot it. Bone ash. Wow, this is a dark fairy tale they created for the children. Um, what is in that? Looks not very nice. So, what exactly is happening in the city? Bloodshed, a massacre, which is why we gotta hurry. Vampire apocalypse. Old, time flows differently in the fabled sphere. We can stay here a week. Outside, mere minutes have passed. The Fable Sphere. Fa Fable Sphere. Okay. That's pretty cool. I like that. Ooh, there's a little house up there. Can I get up there? Can I climb that ladder? Ooh, shit. Now I can jump up here, though. What the hell is that? That's creepy. Don't like that. No. Why would you put this in a children's playroom? I don't understand you, you sh crazy people. Was that someone behind me? Oh, no, I just fell off. Okay, fine. Okay, I think... Oh, no, there's still something to loot. More bone ash. Okay. I still have no idea if I actually get to take the bone ash with me after we leave, but... I guess we need to push on and find Joss. More poisoned apples. Okay, I don't really plan on eating any poisoned apples because of the whole poison thing, you know. Be honest. Ooh, what's that? Why are you glowing? There's a door there? There's, there's totally not a door there. Hmm. 
Why does he reckon there's a door there? I'm curious now. Is there an illusion there, maybe? Or a door around the side? No, no, no door around the side. Um, I don't think I can... I, If that was an illusion, I can't dispel it with the... I don't even have the thing on me, I don't think. The illusion dispelling doodad. I don't know where that's gone. Probably meant to have kept that on me, but oh well. We'll push on anyway. Back on the yellow brick road. Ooh. There's a horse up there. Okay. Wasn't expecting a horse. Pixies. Pixies! Oh, Jesus. Oh, Christ. Ow, ow. Okay, you guys stop that. Pixies. The friendliest pixies I've met. They were put here to protect the Fable Sphere from intruders, meaning you. I guess that makes sense. Like in case anyone broke in to try and kill the Duke and Duchess's daughters and stuff, but still. Ooh! Oh, cool! Look at that tower. Is that a unicorn? Oh, unicorns! We must catch them. We won't have to walk everywhere. I, I knew it was going to be a goddamn unicorn. One. There's a pink one? Oh shit, there is a pink unicorn. Okay, um... It says roach, but it's not roach, it's actually a unicorn. Uh, that's pretty adorable. Okay. Um, we will mount unicorns momentarily. Let's take in that view. That is... That's pretty awesome. It does look a lot like Buclair. But with extra fantasy elements. We've got fantasy elements on top of the fantasy elements of the fantasy game. In a fantasy book. That's kind of cool. Okay, I think I'm going to take a break here because, uh, quite honestly, my room is about 50 degrees and I'm melting a bit, um, so I kind of need to go cool off. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed all this. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you did. And hopefully, I'm going to see you later for the next one of these. And I shall leave you with that beautiful sight of a rainbow. Bye.